Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Parents, released in the year 1989. The movie opens up with a family shifting from Massachusetts to a suburban California town. Inside the vehicle, we see a 10-year-old boy, Michael, with his parents, Nick and Lily. The parents seem happy arriving at the new place, but Michael is unhappy. After dropping Michael to his new school, the couple return home. At night, Nick and Lily are preparing a huge amount of meat for dinner. It is clear that the couple really likes meat. Surprisingly, Michael does not like meat and prefers to eat vegetables and salad for dinner. Michael is also an introvert as he avoids communicating with people and friends. After dinner, as Michael is afraid of the dark, Nick tries to console him, telling him that everything is dark at night. He also tries to make him understand that the only thing that should not be dark is the human mind. Nick then carries Michael to his bed, reciting him a story about how he overcame his fear of darkness. Shortly after putting Michael to bed, Nick and Lily again visit the kitchen to have some more meat. In the middle of the night, Michael has a weird dream where he opens his clothes and jumps on his bed to find his bed turned into a pool of blood. He tries to come out of the pool but drowns in the blood. The scene then shifts to the next morning, where Lily is preparing meat for breakfast. Michael seems worried because of his weird dream, but Lily just ignores him, telling him that he should not pull down his pajamas while sleeping. After that, Michael watches Nick play golf, and later Nick takes Michael to the basement. There, he asks Michael to give him some light with the help of a torch so that he can arrange the wine bottles on the shelf. It is then shown that Nick has a great collection of wine, as he thinks wine and meat are a great combination. In the next scene, Michael is attending his first class, and Ms. Baxter is introducing him to the class along with another new student, Sheila. After the introduction, Ms. Baxter requests both of the new students to tell something new that they know. Sheila tells about making cocktails, while Michael tells something weird about killing a cat and burning it. This disturbs Ms. Baxter, and she suggests that no one should do that with their pets. Sheila and Michael become good friends, as both of them are new to school and do not have any friends there. At night, while having dinner, Nick again tries to feed some meat to Michael, but he refuses to have any of it. Lily visits Michael's room, where she finds him awake and asks him about what has happened to him. When Lily tells him about the gas pipes being used at home, Michael replies that they can bring human bodies and put their chopped arms in fire so that it can burn forever. Confused, Lily asks Michael to sleep and leaves the room. Later at night, Michael is still awake and starts walking towards the kitchen as he is thirsty. On his way, he notices Nick and Lily enjoying some private time with their mouths full of blood. Michael is terrified to see all this. Both Nick and Lily are embarrassed to see Michael still awake. After the encounter, Lily pretends that nothing has happened and takes Michael to his bed. The next day at school, Ms. Baxter provides a workbook to all her students and asks them to draw a beautiful picture of their family. Later, when she checks the pictures drawn by the students, she is shocked to see Michael's drawing, which is a really creepy picture of his family. Immediately, Lily gets a call from school asking her to come over for a visit. Shortly after, Lily reaches school and meets with the student guidance counselor and psychiatrist, Millie Dew. With regard to Michael's drawing of the family, Millie believes that Michael has some issues with his parents. Lily just laughs at her question and answers that they have a really good bond with each other. Later that day, Nick and Lily visit Glady Zellner, one of Nick's co-workers, at his house. Turns out that Sheila's Glady's daughter, and because of this, the two children play together while the parents enjoy their time playing cards and drinking wine. The following day, Michael is called to Ms. Millie's office for interrogation. After Michael arrives, she introduces herself to him and shows him a picture of a family, asking him to tell what he sees. As soon as Millie pulls out the picture of a couple putting their child to bed, Michael remembers the horrible scene of his parents getting intimate with their mouths covered in blood and gets afraid. The scene then shifts to Nick's workplace, a human laboratory. He arrives there with his colleague to check upon a dead body. Soon, he asks his colleague to provide him with some liver and lymph tissue from the dead man. At night, Nick and Lily are again having meat for dinner while they give Michael some vegetarian food. Michael questions them about why they're only having meat for dinner, to which Lily answers that they want to finish the leftovers from the refrigerator. Nick, on the other hand, gets angry with Michael's questions and sends him to sleep early. 
While sleeping, Michael again gets a weird dream where he walks to the kitchen and sees a chopped hand fluttering in the sink. He also notices blood all over the kitchen and runs away from there afraid. While he's running, Michael still has visions of his parents biting each other with their mouths covered in blood. The next day, after school, Sheila comes to Michael's house and the two enjoy their time together. Sheila drinks some wine from Nick's collection and hides in the refrigerator where Nick has kept all the raw meat. When Nick arrives home, he gets angry after seeing Michael and Sheila playing inside the refrigerator with a bottle of wine. At night, Nick goes to Michael's room and scolds him for playing in the refrigerator and destroying his wine bottles. Lastly, he also forbids Michael to meet with Sheila Zellner. Despite Nick forbidding him to meet Sheila, Michael goes to Sheila's house the next day. There, Sheila asks him about what his father does for a living, but Michael can only reply that he goes to work. Intrigued with Sheila's curiosity, Michael sneaks into Nick's workplace and goes straight into the room where the dead bodies are kept for testing. Surprisingly, Nick also arrives there carrying a bag. He checks some of the dead bodies and selects one which he believes is fresh. Nick then takes out a surgical blade and begins extracting organs from the body. While he's doing so, he drops his scissors, which Michael picks up and keeps with him. At the same time, Nick hears some sound and moves aside to find out what it is. Taking this as an opportunity, Michael flees from the room. At home while having dinner, Michael accidentally drops the scissors that he picked up from his father's workplace. He finds the scissors and concludes that Michael has been following him. But this time, he does not say anything harsh to Michael as he had scolded him recently. Michael goes to bed, but he seems curious to know about what's in the basement of his house. Late at night, Michael wakes up and checks on his parents to make sure they're sleeping. After that, he carefully climbs down the stairs and reaches the basement. He looks around and finds a piece of wood full of blood with a butcher's knife placed on it. Frightened, he moves further back and collides with a human leg hanging on a hook. Here, Michael concludes that his parents are cannibals who like to eat human flesh. Upon witnessing all this, Michael gets really scared and rushes to his room. Surprisingly, when he turns on the light, he finds Nick sitting on his bed. Nick inquires with Michael about where he was this late at night. Michael then takes out a packet of snacks from his pocket and shows it to Nick. Looking at the packet, Nick is bound to believe that Michael was in the kitchen searching for the snacks. He asks Michael to sleep and leaves the room. The scene then shifts to the school where Michael is inside Millie's office. As Millie notices Michael is worried, she asks him if something has happened to him. Michael tells her that he's seen something very bad and supposes it's a nightmare. Listening to this, Millie asks Michael about his nightmare and Michael starts remembering his parents biting each other with blood everywhere and the leg hanging in the basement. Later, Michael takes Millie to his home and straight to the basement. Upon reaching there, Millie finds everything normal and suggests to Michael that it must be his dream. Soon, when Millie tries to shoo away a rat near a window of the basement, a dead body rolls in front of her. Afraid, Millie screams very loudly. At the same time, Michael's parents arrive home and Michael runs out of the basement locking Millie inside. Millie, however, manages to open the basement door and enter the kitchen in search of Michael. There, she is attacked by Nick who eliminates her brutally. The same night, Nick ties up Michael and puts him in front of the dining table, asking him to eat some meat. When Nick forces Michael to take a bite of the meat, an angry Michael picks up a knife and stabs Nick right in the chest. Seeing this, Nick gets enraged and tries to kill Michael. During their fight, a candle on the table falls down and the nearby curtain catches fire. Due to her love for her son, Lily tries to stop Nick, but when he refuses to stop, she finds a knife from the kitchen and stabs Nick in his back. Nick then leaves Michael and stabs Lily with the same knife, killing her. Michael is subsequently followed throughout the home by his injured father. As a result of his injuries, Nick runs into a gas line and breaks it. He tries to get up, grabbing the wine shelf, but it breaks and the whole shelf falls on top of him, finally killing him. As the room is filled with gas, Michael has very little time to flee from the house before it burns down. However, Michael rushes out of the house in time, saving his life. In the last scene, Michael is shown living with his grandparents who take over his upbringing. Before leaving Michael to sleep, his grandparents offer him a late night snack, consisting of a glass of milk and a strange looking beef sandwich.
implying that his grandparents are the ones who taught his father cannibalism. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.